Zeki loves to solve logical puzzles. Looking at his enthusiasm, his teacher keeps on giving him puzzles to solve. Let's look at this puzzle, which was given to Zeki this time. Zeki was given three boxes. Out of the three, one box contained only apples, another box only oranges, and the last one contained both apples and oranges. The first box had the label apples, the second oranges, and the third apples and oranges. But unfortunately, all the boxes were mislabeled. So the task given to Zeki was to fix this such that each box had the correct label. This doesn't even seem like a puzzle, does it? Hold on, it's not as easy as it seems. Zeki was given a few conditions that he needed to comply with. The first condition stated that he could not look inside the boxes. Moreover, he could ask for only one random fruit from any of the boxes at a time. And with this help, he needed to correctly label the boxes. Zeki would be tested on this factor, number of boxes he opened to solve this puzzle. That is, he had to do this by opening a minimum number of boxes. What do you think? Was our smart Zeki able to crack it? Yes, he was. Zeki did solve the puzzle and also impressed the teacher. But how did he solve it? Why don't you pause the video and try solving it yourself? Hey, this is Ganesh here from Don't Memorize. Before we get to the solution of this riddle, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from us. Okay, back to where we left off. Well, let's understand the strategies that led Zeki to the answer. Zeki takes a piece of paper and a pen and jots down the plausible scenarios. Okay, he starts with the first box which has the label apples on it. As it's mislabeled, Zeki knows that this box will definitely not have only apples in it. It can either have only oranges or apples and oranges. Now, if Zeki points out this box and the random fruit drawn is an apple, then it becomes obvious that this box would contain apples and oranges. Thus, by elimination, we can conclude that the box named oranges would have apples as it cannot have oranges in it, while the one with the label apples and oranges would have oranges. Bingo! In just one attempt, Zeki could find out the fruits present in the boxes. Thus, labeling the boxes correctly. This was easy, isn't it? But wait, before you can jump to any conclusion, we need to look at the other side of the coin too. Now what if instead of an apple, it's an orange which is drawn? Then will the situation remain the same? Nope, it will be a scene of uncertainty. Let's see how. If it's an orange that's drawn from the first box, then it would mean that the box could contain either only oranges or both apples and oranges. Zeki makes a table like this, considering both the possibilities. But he immediately strikes off these two possibilities, as in this case, the last box cannot have both apples and oranges, and in this case, the second box cannot have only oranges. And why so? That's because the boxes are mislabeled. Zeki could see that both these scenarios were possible. Hence, to ascertain, What's there in this first box? He had to open the second box too. So if Zeki decides to open box 2 and orange is the random fruit, then he has successfully solved the puzzle. And how can he be so sure about it? With the help of the table, Zeki can be very sure that the third box will have only apples. Here Zeki needed two attempts to label the boxes correctly. But the problem doesn't seem to end here. Zeki again takes a look at the table he had constructed. Now the problem erupts if instead of an orange, it's an apple that is drawn from box 2. In this case, from the table, Zeki knows that there could be two possibilities. Box 2 might contain either only apples or both apples and oranges. To confirm what's there in boxes 1 and 2, he will have to open the third box too. So how many attempts? That's correct. Three attempts. So what can we deduce from this? The number of attempts are totally dependent on the random fruit that's removed from the box. Luck by chance. Zeki is not satisfied with this answer. 
he tries to apply yet another strategy. Here he thinks that what if after opening box 1, he directly opens box 3? Let's see the results obtained. Here Zeki observes that if an orange is removed from box 1 and then instead of box 2, if he asks for a random fruit from box 3, he has a definite combination in just two attempts. Similarly, even if apple is the random fruit drawn from box 1, Zeki gets a definite combination. So from three attempts, which are purely based on luck, Zeki is down to two definitive attempts. Now what if instead of box 1, Zeki decides to open box 2, which has been mislabeled as orange? Well, it would be similar to the possibilities obtained when a random fruit was drawn from box 1. Here's the table that Zeki constructed for your reference. Zeki now thinks, what if a random fruit is removed directly from box 3? Could this be the answer? Time to check. Now imagine the random fruit removed from this box is an apple. As it's removed from the mislabeled box of apples and oranges, Zeki is sure that this box would contain only apples. He now moves to the next box with the label oranges. Remember, the boxes are labelled wrong. Hence, by elimination, Zeki could conclude that this box would contain oranges and apples. Which means the final box, box 1, could have only one possible fruit and that is oranges. Wow! Just by drawing one sample from box 3, Zeki could solve the entire puzzle. Now you may debate, what if instead of an apple, it was an orange that was removed from the box? Even if Zeki gets an orange, it would take Zeki just one attempt to solve this riddle applying the same logic as before. So here, luck had no role to play. It was pure logic, whichever fruit is removed, the number of attempts remain the same. That is, he just has to draw one random fruit from the last box. After going through all the possibilities, it's clear that removing a random fruit from the third box is the key to this puzzle. And this is how, in one attempt, Zeki could crack the puzzle. Now before signing off, let me shoot yet another puzzle at you. But remember, this one may or may not follow the logic which Zeki had used to solve this puzzle. A thief tells the truth on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And he lies on the other days. One day, the thief said, I will tell the truth tomorrow. So on which day did the thief say this? Leave your answers in the comment section. And for more interesting riddles and puzzles, stay tuned to our channel.